Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are and what time of day it is when you watch this video. My name is Z, and welcome back to my gaming corner. In this very special episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, um, I've been having so much fun with this. There is a card game in VII Rebirth called Queen's Blood. And I've been playing through the game. I'm in the middle of Chapter 7 right now. I got it on release day. And I've just been playing through the game. I was trying to figure out how to play Queen's Blood, and I was reading some guys online. It's like, it's all about board control. And I was trying to figure out how to do board control and figuring out my strategy of like, if I play this card on this row first, and then what happens if they play right opposite me? Or what happens if they play on that row first and I don't? So I figured out all my strategies and how to do it. And I want to cut now to the most amazing game I've ever had. <laughs> it's so funny. The final score is 50 to nothing. I won all three lanes. And on two of the lanes, I won the lane entirely. And as you will see in the video that I'm going to cut to, and I'm going to apologize now about the sound because I didn't realize the game was going to go this good and I don't ever pause my microphone on my controller and I don't play with headphones. So you might hear some doubling of the sound. All I did was I changed two cards in my lineup for Moogles and you get to watch me just decimate the enemy team. So I'm going to cut now to that card game and I'm playing against a dog it's a level five dog. It's right here in South Corral. He's at this table. And if we look at my, look at my map, we're, we're right there in, or in North Corral. Um, we're in chapter seven. I'm just fighting against that dog. And I want to show you that, that game. <laughs> and it is the most amazing game I've ever played. So enjoy. Yeah, I do that. Then they take that from me. I don't have... So they use that, take that from me, and I don't have any way to take it back. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, let's have some fun. Okay, this was the absolute best game of Queen's Blood I've ever had, and you got to watch it from the beginning. I apologize for the way my voice sounded, because um, I didn't realize it was going to be this amazing. I've been playing, uh, sorry, excuse me for that. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for the past three days. It came out on Leap Year Day, was on Thursday, and I got home from Salt Lake and I was just completely wiped out, so I didn't even get to play it until Friday. So I played it on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I've been only playing for three days. I'm in Chapter 7, those who are left behind. I'm in East Corel um, in Chapter 7. I'm not even, I haven't even beaten the game yet, and I've just been exploring everything and going everywhere, and it's taking, I go my own pace. It's taking me up to this point. You, you saw the whole gameplay and you saw how it all works, but Queen's Blood is about board control and I have never been able to control the board as good as this. This deck is amazing. <laughs> I, I had to get all the way up to Costa del Sol in chapter six. No, chapter seven. 
because chapter six, anyway, you, when you get to Costa del Sol and you do all the events in Costa del Sol, you get to play a little game when you're getting your tickets to actually get your really cool tropical outfit. You play the a card game. It's a similar to Queen's Blood, but the they give you your own cards to play with that you have to go against and they're all they're all on the board and then you put the puzzle all together i will show you this when i do my when i do my playthrough of final fantasy 7 i will show you that game but like for right now it's about board control and like i said i've never been able to control the board as good as i had on this this most recent game <laughs> I am just like I'm having so much fun with this and now that I figured out like I, I was I was reading some guides on the internet uh, mostly in Polygon and sometimes in the PlayStation app and sometimes in the Five Fantasy on Reddit and it says they keep saying Queen's Blood is about controlling the board play your cards strategically do your attacks properly um it's almost like a game of Othello back and forth I'll teach you all of that when we do our Final Fantasy 7 playthrough but it's like a, you're you're flopping who controls each square, and you're and the more more dots you add to the squares, then you can play the bigger and heavier and badder, badass cards, like the really badass cards, like Efrit and <laughs> and like my Moogle and my Chocobo and Moogle, <laughs> which enhance themselves as you enhance cards. <laughs> but um, it's about board control, and because I have attack cards that can destroy other cards, like my my little Wyverns that are one requirement of an attack of three they attack the card in front of them for three and my opponent had one cards in front of them so i destroyed their cards it changes the thing from red to green and i was able to just keep adding cards to it and i just had other cards that enhance other cards i'm like okay at this point i control the whole board let's start enhancing my cards and what cards did, I, did they give me and i just got the perfect i just love it i thought this is the most amazing board i've ever played and i win with a score of 50 to zip if you enjoyed this video as much as i ma loved making it please feel free to give me a thumbs up rate me a like and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you always know when new content comes out also please tell your friends about me so they can come and they can enjoy these videos and enjoy the adventures just as much as you do finally I would just like to say that I do apologize that I was not able to get PSO, um, the episode two quest up to see to the heart out before Final Fantasy VII Rebirth launched. It's I've been dealing with with taking care of my mom, and me being the introvert that I am, I've had literally no time to myself. And if you're an introvert out there, and for those of you who are, because I know I have several viewers who are introverts, you know how important it is to have your alone time and to have time by yourself to let off steam, to just unwind. And and because like too, too much social interactions for us introverts, just make us want to withdraw from society and just like, ooh, stay away from me. And yeah, we, we value our alone time and we need our alone time to function. And being my mom's caregiver 24-7, 365, I don't really have time to myself. And then all the responsibility that's been on me, my mental health has just gone through the toilet. And I'm so glad I have a therapist that is helping me deal with this but that's one hour every other week and i just i don't have enough alone time and so last week mom was having an especially difficult episode um she has dementia she has cancer as i've talked about in my update videos and i'm first aid and cpr certified but it's it's very trying it's very difficult and i don't have any support I'm taking care of my elderly mother by myself. I have no support. And I've just been wanting to scream and yell and at the top of my lungs and just shout and punch holes in walls and stuff, but I've, I'm restraining myself. I'm holding all that in, but that it just makes me not want to record videos when I feel like that. And so Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has been so much fun. I loved Remake. Um, you saw my Remake playlist. It's on this channel. I absolutely love Remake. And when Rebirth came out, I was, I was seeing the reports like, oh, it's a huge open world game. And I'm just like, oh no, why is it a huge open world game? I hate open world games. 
but this open world game has been so fun and riding around on the chocobos has been so fun and doing all the little side quests even though people say oh it's just gonna waste your time and don't bother doing them because it's not worth anything um i've had a lot of fun doing the side quests and doing the exploration and finding treasure chests all over the place and finding with my chocobo i can hunt things down and so he'll he'll be running around you'll see a little pop-up over his head and it's like oh you need to sniff so sniff and you find the treasure and i've gotten so many cool things and i've been able to craft so many cool things and just the exploration and how beautiful this game is you can i can promise you i'm going to make a playthrough of this but i'm going to go through and get the platinum trophy first so when we go through the game i can just focus on the story and the fun activities that you can do and show you how to play all the mini games um just like I did when we did our Final Fantasy VII Remake, I did all those mini games for you, like at the doing the mini games in the gym and doing the Colosseum, fighting in the Colosseum, and we're going to be fighting in the Gold Saucer, and there's going to be Colosseum matches, and there's going to be Queen's Blood tournaments, and there's going to be Queen Blood, Queen's Blood celebrations that you get to go to, and tournaments you get to play in, and those tournaments give you really cool, super cool cards. And then when you get to Costa del Sol, you get to play the card the card game Extreme, and you get other really super cool cards like my moogles that i got today and i've just had so much fun with this game and so like even though i have to check on my mom every couple hours in the middle of the night to make sure she's still breathing and stuff i can play this game and it it's been such a refreshing feeling to be happy about something for once because i've been sad for a long time but I've been having so much fun with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I'm so grateful that Square Enix made this game. Because I, I honestly believe that the developers at Square Enix, and this is why they're my most favorite developer, I believe they understand... I really do, because over in Japan, because of the limited space of their island, they can't have huge, giant, ginormous families. I mean, Tokyo is the most populous city in the world. But people don't have more than one, maybe two kids. And, and people will frequently go into internet cafes and play video games together just to have that social interaction. And the Japanese understand that that's a reality and people are very lonely over there. And I believe they make these super fun games so those of us that are feeling lonely and are feeling kind of down and depressed and out, we can have fun with this and feel happy and be excited about something just to help raise our spirits, raise our, raise our moods. I think they understand that and that's why they're most, my most favorite developer because the quality of the games they make is insanely amazing. And the, the way it looks is just so beautiful and the music is just gorgeous and it just it just touches your soul in a way that nothing else in this world can and the music in this game is top notch and you're going to hear all of it when we play when we do our playthrough videos like i said i want to get the platinum trophy but finally and most important of all please remember this final fantasy 7 rebirth is just a game and games are meant to be played and you're supposed to have fun while playing them so if you're not having fun like when i wasn't having fun and like damn it damn it damn it it's not working when you're when you're not having fun then you're not doing it right <laughs> and i wasn't doing it right and it was just like frustrating <laughs> but yeah so if you're not having fun you're not doing it right meet me back here next time um i don't know when the next video will be out because i'm i'm all my free time is being taken up by this game because i desperately need it so I will get my next video out as soon as I feel like playing PSO again. And I will get those the rest of that PSO project done. And then our next project after that is going to be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I promise you that here today. So join me for my next video. And just know that after we're done with PSO, we are going to do a playthrough and I'm going to show you Final Fantasy VII Rebirth because this game is fucking amazing. And Square Enix developers, if you're watching this video and you've actually made it all the way through this all, and all the way through, be telling you how amazing you are. Just know that I absolutely appreciate everything that you have done and everything that you have put into this game. And I want to thank all the developers personally for the artwork, 
the design, the levels, the scenario, the story, the music, the sound effects, the voice actors, the voice acting, the interactions with your teammates, everything. You poured your hearts and souls and blood, sweat, and tears into this game. And I want to thank you for that because this game is incredible. So join me for my next video and I look forward to bringing those adventures to you. But until then, I'm Z, signing off.